Jeffrey G. Play on. It's uh, Papua New Guinea win the ball from the kickoff and a penalty. It's not often in this competition that Fiji don't win the kickoff. And now Papua New Guinea. With the ball, with field position, and an offload, but it's been intercepted, and Fiji, they don't need half an invitation. Chase oh, down, what a tackle! Oh, great job! What a tackle! Latte Kunak. Papua New Guinea with a magnificent tackle. Outstanding tackle, ball and all. And they win the line out to rub it in. Challenge. Back the way they come to the short side. Up in New Guinea and the offload and the tackle. BG, minute and a half gone, they haven't had the ball. Good defence. Oh, they leave the ball on the ground, Fiji. Ratu Rathiri. Another penalty for Papua New Guinea. They come to the right side, Papua New Guinea. Trying to deny Fiji the ball, they will have the first say. What a popular try. Kennedy Benjamin down the right edge. Papua New Guinea. Make some noise in the opening play. Look at this, a clean set of heels. He's excited, we're excited, and the crowd are excited. Well, I think for the first time in the game, Benny, we're saying that Fiji are behind. First time in the tournament, should I say. Well, you're the one that was, you know, you've been propping Fiji up for the last hour. Papua New Guinea. Again, the kick is not taken cleanly. They're going to get bought. They're going to get the throw at the line out. This is their first position. In the game, PG. They win it well. Out the line they've got, and they've got big men out there and fast men. Well, the ball's lost. This will be a Papua New Guinea. Ball, there's an advantage. They'll have a scrum with field position. What a start for Papua New Guinea. Just trying to have a look over on the uh, eastern side. There's not many um, Fijian supporters over there. They're all over on our side. But they're very quiet at the moment. Malate. Kunak. And take the tap. On the mark, 5-0. No. You can run the ball, Papua New Guinea. Nice tackle, good run. Papua New Guinea in the right spot, right in the middle of the field. They've got the line out wide and looking for somebody. Gives the ball. It's another try. Can you believe it? Going around to improve the position and Mboku Derek. Well, Papua New Guinea gets try number two. 10 0 with the conversion to come. Let me remind you. Let me remind you at home, I know Papua New Guinea, you're getting excited. Fiji haven't had the ball yet. There's a lot of footy to be played. They haven't had the ball yet. It's a great start for Papua New Guinea. Fantastic start. You're starting to change your mind, are you? No, well, I said to you before the game, of course Papua New Guinea can win. 
need to make the best of their opportunities. That's what they've did. They've done so far. I think what Fiji haven't had the ball yet. Let me remind everybody. All right, well, you reminded me, but let me tell you what are you not to be reminded is how fast these two wingers are for Papua New Guinea. They are outstanding. Oh, another error. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. He's offside. This is not the start we we're anticipating and this is from what... uh, Fiji. Papua New Guinea have dominated possession five and a half minutes. As you said, Ken, you can read it on paper, but what happens on the day? That's how it works. So Papua New Guinea, another position. 10 mil is a nothing lead and sevens. But if Papua New Guinea score again before half time. I like the way Papua New Guinea are looking for their supporters. Oh, hang on, hang on. Down the line. They're going to get him. They go inside. And inside. Oh, oh, beautiful. Oh, he's going to pass he's inside and it's he's been knocked over. Good try. Beautiful rugby from Papua New Guinea. Absolutely nothing to lose. Fiji put on 70 points in some of their games. Absolutely no ball in this game so far. Now they have a position, Fiji. And that was 76 to nil over Kiribati. Ken, you're talking about? That is it. Inside. Ball, but oh, it's yes. loose. To try. Another one. Well, we're coming back for an earlier infringement. Player taken out. So there's the Huda. Yeah, Fiji, they can be electrifying from here. No team in World Rugby can score tries after the Huda like Fiji can. We've seen it many times. And they will go for it from here. It's good assault. They shift. This is the first phase. On the outside. Oh, Great tackle. Beautiful tackle. Nearly took him out, ball and all. But it's gone back inside to Fiji. They look for the support. Here's a big tall man. They get it out to the winger. He can outrun them all. He's got it now. Chance down the right side. Now Silva. Bully, bully to both. It's the bring. Ball back. Penalty. This is only Fiji's. Second position. Rodavanu. Volley volley to Evi with a little tip it. on the right side of Nasova. Well, if you've been watching the Fiji rugby over the years, you know they're never out of it. Seems like an age that the Hooter for half time went. And they've come up with a very, very big play. Looks good. No, waved away. They trail by five, ten five, half time. Pat is the hooker on the loop. And the ball's lost forward, but it... ruling that Papua New Guinea were offside from the line out. Two runners on the inside. Well, they'll play on and I'll go deep into the territory now. This is where Pat New Guinea are in a bit of trouble. The ball will go wide. Some signs of frustration from Papua New Guinea. The ball was knocked down. Papua New Guinea. 
What a fantastic semi-final. Given some, some of the scores that Fiji posted in the... First two days. And you wouldn't have thought anybody would get within truly of them. Here we are. Five minutes and nine seconds on the clock and Papua New Guinea are ahead by five. And thrilling first. And they're ahead. Not by luck. They're ahead by good play, good solid, good solid rugby. Kunak, the captain. And they start from inside their own and goal, but Fiji in defense. High tackle. Oh, you can see Fiji. The ball's loose on the ground. You can see Fiji, Fiji have just picked the pace up. They picked the pressure up. You can see it. Watch it there. See, they knock them down and they come through very quickly trying to push them back. And they're not giving him any room to move. They'll keep them down here as long as they can. So off the base of the scrum is a high tackle. The tie is scored anyway. So Papua New Guinea will lose the player. For two minutes. There's the right foot step. There's the high tackle swinging arm. Penalty try, it's been changed from a try to a penalty try, so it's now 12 10 Fiji over Papua New Guinea. The score is 12 10 Papua New Guinea. Fiji over Papua New Guinea. It's Fiji. Well, here they go again, Ken. They'll throw it out wide and they're going to add to this score line very quickly. Very quickly indeed. Oh, yes. Seven. Roll over and it's another try. Seven uh, Fijian players up against six. Papua, Papua New Guinea players as they record their third try. Now they're starting to flex their muscles. They're getting some ball. Fiji. Apologise for our clock. Our time clock is incorrect on our graphic. The score is correct, but not the clock. Oh, again, they won the ball, but then they lost it. Fiji. So Papua New Guinea. Then they concede a penalty. So was the position, and then they kicked the ball away. That's another player in the sin bin for unsportsmanlike. Now they're down to five. They're starting to implode. Papua New Guinea. They keep losing players, Ken. We wanted to run you on. As I kept reminding our audience, wherever you're watching in Fiji, they had to play the first half without the ball. Once positions leveled up in the second half, we are seeing signs of how good they are they've got the upper hand just waiting for a big prop to come in and we'll pat their scrum down 17 10 fiji and just starting to really loosen up you can just feel it they're just starting to roll the shoulders so the park. Sean. 
Fiji on the right edge. They've got a two-player advantage. Fiji, they've just got to keep their head. Don't lose the ball, and eventually Papua New Guinea will run out of defenders. And shift now to the left edge. Nasori with the right arm available, not taken. And he's in for another try for Fiji Laivi Nasori. Outstanding from Fiji. Sheer strength. That's all how I can describe that. Down the sideline, brings the ball around, makes it easy for his, uh, his kicker. Successful, 24 to 10. Yavi Nasori. I thought you didn't get a player back. It's been a brilliant semi final. At one stage yesterday, that this would be a one horse race. Papua New Guinea with a brilliant performance in the first half. Fiji, the first time in this tournament, coming from behind to get it done. There's a, another inside pass and a wrap around. And just her players available. Papua New Guinea now. They'll be disappointed, Papua New Guinea, but they put on a great show. Most certainly had their opportunities, Benjamin. Oh, they let it half time and they really, really showed some class in those early tries. Yeah, well, they, they started the better of the two teams, obviously, when they led by 10 points to nil. But an absolutely fabulous performance from Papua New Guinea. This time yesterday, Fiji were an unstoppable train. Uh, what Papua New Guinea have shown... So